Hi there Aries, I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. Let's see what's going on with your person. Um, what do these cards have to say today? We've got a five of cups, two of sword, a wheel of fortune, <clears throat> nine of sword, Hierophant, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay. So, you know, I, when I do these readings, I, I often forget what I'm saying. Or I don't, for most of the part, I don't even, I channel these messages. I don't really recall uh, what what I said in these messages. But I feel like lately um, the Aries readings are very um, much about decision making. Because, uh, you know, this this um, seems like a theme with Aries here uh, too lately in my in my readings. Um, two of Swords, like there's there's this decision that your person knows they need to make here, uh, but it's the toughest decision of their life. Uh, and, you know, Wheel of Fortune, it's like there's there's a destiny connected to this decision. Uh, it's like on some soul level, they know exactly what they need to do. Uh, but doing it, actually doing it is, is quite difficult. Or, or they're in the process of... of um, getting over this issue. Uh, let's see if we can go deeper here and get some more um, info. Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, they, they're, they're indecisive. Like, they know what they need to make, but they, they know the decision they need to make, um, but it, it's like... They still question, am I doing the right thing? You know, will I be happy with this decision or will I be disappointed with this decision? Uh, but the only way we can find an answer is to make the decision, set it free, like let destiny take over uh, is what I'm getting. Page of Wands, yeah, it's like they're, they, they really, they know they need to make this decision. Like page of wands, you know, pages are very, very curious. Page of wands, he's like eager to embark on a new journey. And I feel like that's where the soul, your person's soul is calling them on a new soul journey here uh, with this wheel of fortune. Look, wheel of fortune on wheel of fortune. It's like they know it. This is in their thought space. They're thinking wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune. This is my destiny. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to to choose here but so much worry about it am I doing the right thing you know like they know it they know exactly what decision they need to make but it scares the living daylights out of them yeah they know the truth here ace of swords they know their mind is actually clear but I think they they still tend to talk themselves out of it here uh four cups yeah it's like am I seeing this clearly uh, they question, am I seeing this clearly? Am I seeing everything I need to see uh, regarding this decision? Because I feel like in the past they made, like, maybe they made snap judgments or snap decisions. They they made decisions and didn't really think them through. Um, and then after making a, a, a life-changing decision, they realized, wait a minute, I should have, I should have taken my time with that because they ended up somewhere where, you know, they ended up at a dead end and they, you know, they needed to uh, change paths or, or make a change here. Uh, page of Pentacles. So what do we have? Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they see it. They see where they're meant to go, but it's still, it's, there's something, I feel like because by making this decision, it somehow affects other people. Uh, this hierophant energy, it affects either family members or or um, people, uh, places, jobs. Um, like what was will no longer be by making this choice. And and 
you know, obviously, maybe not obviously, it's just there's something about, uh, you know, when we make life decisions, not everyone else in our environment or maybe our friends or our family, they don't see the reasons why we're making these decisions. But as long as we know, it only matters what, you know, when I'm saying we, I mean, like if I, you know, if I were feeling called to follow my destiny um, and someone in my family or a friend said, well, I don't think you should do that. Um, that type of energy can make us think like, well, maybe they know more than I know about myself. But these cards are saying just follow what you know to be true because only you knows you best. Uh, no, no tarot reader, no psychic, no nobody knows you better than you know you. Uh, and your person definitely sees where they want to go here. We've got three of wands here twice. They're looking forward. They know what they're supposed to do here. Um, some There's a situation that's in need of healing first. Like they have to put some, put their, you know, close the old chapter or close like the old book. Like something, in order to make this decision, it's going to be life changing. Um, and, you know, sometimes there's no guarantees, you know, maybe we could choose something and then later on down the road, um, we can, you know, decide we want to choose differently. We can always choose again, but I feel like your person knows, knows what they want to do. They see where their future's leading and what decisions that they need to make right now, but there's something, um, that needs to, um, be overcome or healed um, before they'll, they're, you know, they're actually ready to take that step onto the new path. Yeah, King of Swords, you know, they've got to just be, come from uh, a place of uh, peace of mind is what I'm getting here. Clarity of mind, peace of mind, knowing that things will work out and it's okay to make the effort you know you the universe will uh, help you and your person um overcome other people's opinions or whatever that may be you know this three of cup energy seven of wand energy it feels like um you know like okay these three cups you know it's like one is your person and the other two are like oh i i think this is where I want to go. Well, I think you should go here. And this one says, oh, I think you should go here. Same with the seven of wands. It's like everyone has this opinion. Uh, but I feel like your per person really is certain about where they want to go. Yeah, king, king of pentacles. Kings make their own decisions here. We got kings. We got um, king of sword, king of pentacles. We have kings here. You know, we have pages as well. You know, the idea, like the the thought process. You know, every manifestation begins with the thought. So these thoughts have the ability to manifest and your person has the ability to take charge of their future. Uh, five of swords. Yeah, they just got to kind of give up the, the, the struggle, the fight. Um, you know, five of... of Sword can be a, a a fight car, but I'm noticing it's it's you know it kind of came in a little bit upside down there, saying you know it's time to let the fear and worries of our mind. Let's not battle this in our mind. Let's follow our heart. Uh, bottom of this deck is the chariot, so it's like there's something about connecting with you and moving forward. What's under this one? Six of Cups. Yeah, it's like that. They, you are their one true love here. Knight of Wands. They do want to take an action, return to you, meet you in the middle here. Um, it's a decision they know they need to make no matter who says what is what I'm getting. All right. Let's close with um, Lemurian Oracle message. We have the Violet Flame. As we deepen our spiritual path, step out of illusionary constructs and become empowered beings, life presents more opportunities to grow than before. Your sensitivity will be heightening, so it may be harder to spend time in places with certain energies. Do you have a range of accessible go-to practices for recentering, cleansing your aura, and protecting your energy field? 
A routine for psychic fitness will keep your aura strong and resilient, your energy sovereign and your vibration high, and help you to see through illusions that block or disorient. Bring the violet flame into your meditation and self-care practices for graceful rebalance. Peace be with you. Bye now.